All right, buddy. By the age of six weeks old, little Finn McGrath had seen more doctors and needles than most people will in a lifetime. 119 over 63. His parents, Laura and Mike, say everything seemed fine during her pregnancy. But during childbirth, Finn was deprived of oxygen and began having seizures. Doctors were able to get him breathing on his own, but the damage was done. Finn suffered a severe brain injury. We don't even really know what all the problems you know, are because he's so young. The McGraths say their doctors told them there wasn't much to do but wait and see whether Finn's brain would heal itself. But the McGraths are not the wait and see type of people, so they did what many of us do when confronted with a medical emergency. They turned to the internet. Hi. That's where they stumbled on a Duke University clinical trial led by Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg, a pioneer in cord blood transplants. We're studying whether giving a child their own cord blood cells um, which would have had to been saved when they were born, can lessen um, the symptoms that might come from low oxygen at birth. Before he was born, the McGraths had debated whether to bank the blood from their baby's umbilical cord. It costs about $2,000, but they decided to do it because cord blood is rich in stem cells, which can shape shift, if you will, into different kinds of cells, like those in the heart or the brain. For years, doctors have been transplanting cord blood from donors into children with certain diseases, like leukemia, hoping that the healthy cells will replace and repair the existing diseased ones. It works, doctors say, more than half the time. We then said, okay, if it can work there, maybe it will work after injury that isn't from a genetic disease, but is from, like this baby, low oxygen. So far, 150 babies like Finn have undergone transplants using their own cord blood. And while it's too early to know whether Finn will improve, other babies have. Anecdotally, we've had a lot of good reports that children are developing more skills than they would have. But she already knows it is not a cure-all. We don't know for sure this can help or not. Still, the McGraths have heard the stories of babies who suddenly seemed better after their transplants. This has just kind of reinvigorated our hope. And while they're realistic about Finn, at least they're not sitting around and waiting anymore. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.